<laughs> oh my goodness. So I hope you guys are all doing well. This is um, sort of like a, a mishmash video. I'm going to talk about uh, an experiment I've had all week long of just using one palette and rediscovering an old favorite in how I've been using this bra pillow. Bra pillow? Pillow bra. How I've been using that. And my get up. So if you're interested in my vlog, stay tuned. wind is actually howling like crazy outside and it's actually what is it you kind of lose track when you're not going out each day even though I've been working from home the days kind of blend in together and it's so weird you know all those things that you you took for granted being able to just go walk on the beach or just being able to go out and do the things that you just want to do, go to the mall, go to the hairdressers, get your nails done, all those things, you know, you take for granted, all of a sudden they're taken away from you and it's like, oh my God. So yesterday, Easter, there was all these storms all over the place, really bad storms, tornadoes and stuff like that. And then we got a, a weather warning that it's coming here. And it's already, we've already, uh, the power has gone off and on. It's flickered a couple of times. But it's only like about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The wind is kicking up. The wind is kicking up. So, I don't know. I'm trying to remember when the governor of New Hampshire issued the stay-at-home warning. But basically, from, from me, from March 11th, when I arrived home from the Nashville Convention, I started to do a lot of some self-isolation and practicing social distancing. So when I went to work, for example, I never went near anyone. I had my Clorox wipes. I, you know, sanitized everything. We were really, really taking, um, taking, making sure that we were taking all precautions. And then I worked until the stay-at-home order came in, and then I moved my laptops and everything to home. And I've been working every day from home. But it's different. It's just different. So I don't know. I thought I'd try to vlog a little bit of the, you know, my thoughts, my experiences. And, you know, but the one thing is I never enjoyed people that vlogged and talked about nothing. <laughs> but here I am. Really talking about nothing but actually talking about something that's profoundly affecting us all, right? Many of us are, are stay at home. Some of us are in total lockdown. As we're trying to battle this, I can't even see this enemy, you know? And I try to stay off of the, well, I skim social media. I, I can't stay off of Facebook because that's where my family is. That's how I can connect with people, you know? Um, but I try to avoid all the conspiracy theories, all the negativity. I struggle to remain positive. And I'm going to stay positive. So this too shall pass. And our new reality might look a little bit different. You know, but I think when we come out of this, I think we'll be much better people. We'll certainly be kinder. And I hope we have a higher level of tolerance. And I hope we continue empathy, trying to help each other out as much as possible. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to try this look. I'll see where this takes me. So, another day of isolation. Well, actually, today wasn't... Um, it wasn't, it wasn't so bad. I mean, I had a couple of meetings. They were really good meetings, so that was really awesome. And I decided the other day, because I found myself reaching for the same palette over and over again, you know, uh, which is sort of like a combination of my, my Viseart Amethyst palette and I forgot now one of the other 
the, the darker brown ones. I put them all together in a Z palette and I reach for those all the time. So I said, I'm going to put that away and I'm going to, because I'm not a palette addict. You know, I'm not, I'm not, but I, I can get easily influenced when I see something I like. So I actually got this as a gift and um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon, Bon Bon, Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon. And so I, I anyways, when I, I said I would put the palette away that I use all the time and dig out one of my others. This is like vlogging. So um, I don't want to show that, but this is the palette. So all week I've been actually using this palette on my eyes. Now, because I've been working all week, I haven't really done a real dramatic look with it yet, you know, because I've been, yeah, working. I can't be uh, teaching a class even though it's on Zoom and, and uh, you know, look like I'm ready to party. Well, maybe I could, but I haven't. But the the other thing is that, do you remember, guys, when I talked about that pillow I got, the Sleep and Glow pillow? Well, I've been using that Sleep and Go Sleep and Glow pillow every night, and I'll do a I'll do a, my final thoughts on it in um, in my April favorites or favorite my April reviews. But I've been using it, and um, I've I've never slept on my back as much as I have since I've been using that pillow. I, I'm just gonna say that. There's been a couple of times that I've fallen asleep on my back with that pillow and woken up in the same spot in the morning. I really don't know. But I got this. So they, they said to me, would you like to try our anti-aging pillow bra? <laughs> I, I thought it was like really, um, I don't know. You know, I said, it doesn't look comfortable. It, it kind of, it, it. It was like, I don't know if I can make this work, but I said, sure, I'll try it. So it arrived today. I haven't used it yet. I can open it up and check it out, but it arrived today. So, yeah. Um, so, today, yeah, it's April 14th, and, um, I, you know, some of the states, I think, are going for a little bit of a longer lockdown. I, I think I mentioned before that New Hampshire is on a lockdown till um, May 4th. I never realized how hard this would be. 24-7 of my husband. <laughs> I never thought I'd say I want him to go golfing. I wish he could go golfing. Oh, my God. And anyways, my nails are still still horrible. I've been putting the CBD oil on my nails, but they're still, they're still pretty bad. So, yeah, that's it. I don't know. So tonight I'm going to take that sleep bra out and I'm going to hand wash it. I should, I'm going to read the directions first, but I'm assuming I can hand wash it. And then I'll let it dry and then, um, you know, tomorrow night I'll wear it and um, I'll see what it does. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you this because I'm getting ready to wash it. Um, <clears throat> getting ready to uh, have a full day at the office, but I wanted to wash this. So this is the, the anti-aging bra pillow. <laughs> and it really, I mean, it came really nice. You know, you, uh, it was delivered, I think it was FedEx. They put it on my porch. I let it sit there. I sanitized it before I took the package in and uh, opened it up in this really pretty box. Oh my gosh, it really is a bra pillow. So this, I guess, would go around your back. This would go around your shoulders. And this would, <laughs> I guess you have like, we'll see. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to give this a wash. This really is pretty. It's got like a little lace and a little bow in the, per in the middle and then elastics that are adjustable. This is super soft. Unlike what I thought it would be, I kind of pictured it to be hard. This is super soft. So tonight, I'm going to wear this bra pillow. <laughs> oh, 
So yeah, I really can't see any instructions, but I'm just going to do hand wash like I would normally my delicate delicates and let it dry, and hopefully it'll dry in time to be to be worn tonight, guys. So. <laughs> I've been doing this video challenge with my my office called VEDA and that's like little short video clips that I post each day and so far in April I haven't missed a day. So this morning's video clip that I did was all about being thankful, thankful Thursday. And so yeah, so it really got me thinking when I was trying to think of what should I do for my VEDA video and then when I came up with it I said well, I'm going to share it to my regular video. So, thankful Thursday. What's the one thing, just one thing, that I can really be thankful for? And I just have to go back and I have to say, there was way back, I'm going to go back to like 2010. In the year 2010, I was installed as the state president of the New Hampshire Association of Realtors. That was a huge deal back then. I mean, I think the membership was 6,500, something like that. And to be the leader of the Realtor Association on a state level was huge. And every president had to have their platform. And of course, mine involves social media. And so my platform was all about sort of paving the way for realtors to go into this new era that was really taking hold out there, at least in, in the area that I traveled in, called social media. And Jay and I had gone on Facebook in, I think, 2007 and Twitter and all that stuff. And we were always trying to think of different ways to connect with consumers. So anyways, I you know jumped all over Facebook and my platform as, as the leader of the association in 2010 was safe practice, how to navigate social media, how to do it properly, correctly, because social media eliminated the walls. You, you could be found, you could, you could have a huge, huge reach and I really believe passionately in that. So, and there was a lot of naysayers. There were a lot of broker owners that were going, oh, you're crazy. Oh, this is a stupid platform. Of course, now they're like all over social media now, you know, but anyways. So over the course of time, Facebook certainly has changed from when I first went on there. And the last three, maybe four years, I haven't enjoyed it. It's been nothing but a bunch of political crap, garbage this, garbage that fake news, negativity, and I just didn't like it. So I started to just go onto Facebook into my family group because that's the reason I still kept it because I was connected to my family members that were overseas. So recently with the coronavirus going on, obviously more people are gravitating to Facebook. I believe more people are not even watching YouTube videos as much as they were before because the instant gratification, the instant connection happens on social sites like Facebook, where YouTube, someone typically uploads a video, you watch it, you leave a comment, that creator might comment back, sometimes they don't, you know, but it's sort of, it's not that, it's not instantaneous, it's not real time, where in Facebook it can be real time. So I kind of gravitated off of Facebook. And then like everyone else, during this coronavirus, I went back onto Facebook. <laughs> So my thankful Thursday is Facebook because one day I was in the kitchen doing something and we've been in isolation. I could hear Jay laughing like crazy, like a crazy man. He goes, what's so funny? He says, look at this. And he showed me this Facebook meme, you know, the funnies, the things that people create and make fun of themselves and, you know, about this virus and about other things. Wow. Oh my God. I cracked up laughing. So even though we're in the middle of all this crap, we still need to laugh. We still need something to smile about. So Facebook, my thankful Thursday is, yeah, you know what? I could, I have enjoyed the heck out of my Facebook time because I've been cracking up. I've been, I've been watching those memes and I have just been totally cracking up how creative some of these people are, the stuff they come up with, how they come up with it, I have no clue, but it's like unbelievable. So. Facebook, my thankful Thursday. Who knew, right? Who knew? But I'm loving my Facebook time. <laughs> How about you guys? If you're on Facebook, connect up. Yeah, it'd be fun. <laughs> I really debated publishing the vlog because I figured it, it was not really nothing. There was really nothing of importance that I was sharing with anybody. And 
I thought, you know, it's kind of boring and all that, but I also thought it would be a good sort of like reflection upon this past week, how I felt a little bit about being housebound and the coronavirus and all that stuff. So I took advantage of working from home from um, for this last basically three weeks for a lot of self-reflection. And one of the things that was really hard for me to admit, although I've known it in the back of my head, uh, in the back of my mind, and th this morning, actually I'm filming this on Saturday, I don't know when you're gonna see it, but this morning I watched Susan Little Poet's video about gaining weight and the reasons why and what to do, you know, and that she was rebooting. And it just re brought to me f into the forefront that I, I am rebooting. That's what I have been doing this last week or so is truly rebooting. But it also made me have a sort of a, a new appreciation, if you if you will, on the fact that I'm not alone with these struggles. So for me, I've been doing physically really well. Um, I've been, I'd lost weight, gained weight, lost weight, gained weight, and yo -yo all my life. But I was doing really super good at maintaining my, my weight loss, uh, of feeling good, being healthy, at probably still overweight by conventional standards, but a good healthy weight or a weight that I looked good at until October hit. And I'm not going to make excuses, but from October 1st, my life is just turned upside down in many ways. And the, I think the major ramification of that was putting too much food in my mouth and not, not really devoting the time I needed for fitness. And even though I still stayed active at work, I still did a lot of things at work that kept me active. It wasn't enough based on the food I was putting in my mouth. I was running from work to the hospital, fast food, work to the rehab facility, fast food, work, hospital, work, rehab facility, work, 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 stress, stress, stress. So from October, and I know we all have our own battles, but from October for me to, you know, I think the the beginning of March, when I went to convention, I kept saying, I've got to stop this yo-yo. I've got to stop it. I've got to get back on my program. But I didn't. I went to convention, came home. I pretty well basically went right into um, self-isolation. I started to work from home. And a week later, we brought all my, my gear from home, my, my work laptop and my double monitors and set it up here in my dining room. The problem was that, while I was doing that, I wasn't at work. I had my stand up desk. I'd be doing this and that, but at home I didn't have that. So I found myself just getting up, sitting, having food, having coffee, having this, having that, going right into my work routine here in the dining room without any physical fitness. So um, I started to pay more attention to my Apple Watch and I started to get back on uh, trying to do at least 15 minutes of my elliptical starting slowly in the morning and then trying to do a thousand steps before I sit down and have my first cup of coffee. So I've been doing that and, I've been, and that's been making me feel good. I, I just realized that, you know, you, for whatever reason, you let yourself go. It's, you, you can still get back on, you can still get back on the program, on the wagon, do whatever. So I'm rebooting myself. Don't, I'm not following any kind of official diet plan. In fact, I stopped my my auto ship of my isogenics. I still plan on using the protein. I have the protein, I have plenty of it. I still plan on doing some meal replacements, but I'm not following any specific plan other than I'm going to, I think basically monitor my caloric intake more and how much, uh, how much I'm, I'm at, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be going running or a marathon or going and doing all sorts of crazy things because I, I realize whatever I have to do, I have to, I have to uh, maintain it and, and uh, be able to have something that I can actually live with. So one of the things that I said in the intro of the video is that I, because I've been home, I've been able to do a little bit more experimenting with makeup. And so I had, I had said in a previous vlog that I was, I put my favorite palette away and I was tackling this Too Faced, and this is the, is it the Von Von palette? So I've actually been using this all week and I will tell you, I've used every shade in here except for one. Can you guess which one? 
and it is the green one. I actually have used every other color, whoops, every other shade when I've tried to create my look. So for example, today, I, I basically, I did the all over, all over my eyes with this, and then I worked in my crease with this upper color here, pardon my nails, they're horrific, and then I deepened my crease. I, I did some of this pink, I did some of the darker purple here in the corner today, and I just kind of did it, and then I kind of brushed this highlighter that I used a little bit all over my eyes, and a little bit more of the pink, and then darkened the outer V a little bit, and then I just used a regular eyeliner. But I also used this as sort of like my highlighter, and I really, really liked it. So I'm just really happy that I tackled using a palette that I've had for a while that I haven't touched. So I've been using it and I really, <laughs> thought Jay was gonna come walking in. Um, I've been using it and I really, really, really like it. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I'm doing it. So I, I started using it, I think on Sunday. So tomorrow I'm gonna pick a different palette and I'm gonna use it all week. And I think it's kind of fun. So I don't, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do the full week with a different palette, but I'm gonna tackle a different palette and I haven't made up my mind which one yet. So I'm gonna think about that. And the other the other thing that I have really discovered, um, rediscovered, and this was initially something that I bought because of Mary Ellen after 60, she talked about this Mally Pore Defender. And I bought, I bought it. This one is kind of, I'm kind of, it's kind of broken up as you can see, but, um, I rediscovered this. I, I was doing something and I said, oh my gosh, my pores looked horrendously big. So I said, look at that. So I took it and I, I did a sponge and I um, sponged it on there and I covered my pores. And I thought, I thought, wow, you know, I forgot how good that really kind of smoothed out my pores. So yeah. Um, and I think the last time I got this was actually in Kohl's, guys. So if you have Kohl's near you, um, they carry this and if and sometimes with the coupons and the sales they have it's really really inexpensive so i got it at kohl's last time and i will probably this one's broken but i will definitely buy it again i thought it was pretty uh pretty cool pretty interesting the other thing that i have is the this i i mentioned in my video but you see i had to i had to uh enlarge it a little bit so it would fit me but this is the bra pillow. <laughs> I'm going to show you, but I don't want to show you. Um, this is kind of really an interesting concept. I mean, it, it keeps you. It, so if you if you're a side sleeper, it keeps you so you can, um, you know, they don't squish together and get wrinkly. So I've only been using it this week, so I really don't know. It's an interesting device. It's kind of cool. Um, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. One of my co-workers made these masks for us. She made one for Jay. She made one for me. They have a little pocket in here and there's a HEPA filter in there. <laughs> but who would have ever thought that you'd have to go uh, wear a mask going grocery shopping? And I had in the picture, I had my mask on and I had gloves in my hands. And I had so many people say, oh, you're not supposed to wear gloves, you're not supposed to wear gloves. Well, I'll tell you, my hands are so dried from the hand sanitizer, I the gloves save my hands a little bit. Now, I use the hand sanitizer and all of that on my gloves, you know, wipe them down and all that um, before and after and stuff. But I, I don't know, my hands have just been so dry. And I, I said to someone, I think my hands have aged 50 years since Corona came into our lives. Of course, that's a very minor thing to complain about, but that's the reality. So uh, how are you guys dealing with the dry hands? I mean, are you doing all the disinfectant on your hands and all that? And you can't find masks anywhere, but you can find a lot of people that are super talented that actually can make this. And I know somebody that was actually having a coffee filter. <laughs> yeah, on his face. So, I mean, there's all sorts of different, different things that you can do. So that's my mask. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you all stay healthy and see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.